Hello everybody, it's Jeff. It's uh, Bald Family Man 39. It is June 22nd, I believe. Um, just giving a quick update, talk about a few things. Um, start off with, I uh, made a little list just so I don't forget anything. Um, just a quick update on the weight. Uh, had my surgery December 1st of last year, 2009. Um, I am started at 326 pounds. I'm currently 209 pounds. That's a total loss of 117 pounds in a little over, I guess, six and a half months or six months, three weeks. Um, I'm up a little bit, about a pound over the last five days or so, um, and we'll talk about why in a little while. Uh, first off, I want to talk about uh, having the lap band uh, and something that, uh, you know, a monthly support group meeting, which I go to at my surgeon's office every month, uh, just to talk with others about problems they have. It's kind of a, another support thing like YouTube, but just in person, it works out real well. And I get to talk about some stuff that I do and start, learn stuff that others uh, do and helps me out. Uh, so it's a good thing. We go on a second Tuesday of every month. And um, we have a therapist that comes in and she actually talks to us for about 45 minutes, uh, about a lady by the name of Jan. Um, and she gives her time to us every, every month, which we all appreciate. And, uh, you know, there's something that she said that makes a lot of sense to us. Um, and it is, uh, you have to look at the lap band as being um, your, she calls it the drill sergeant. Um, like in the army or, you know, you're, you're in there. The drill sergeant is there to coach you along. But bottom line is you have to obey the drill sergeant. Um, if you don't do what the drill sergeant tells you to do, um, and you disobey it, you're not going to work. You're going to get kicked out of the army, or uh, you're going to not succeed with lap band. So the lap band it serves as a tool or a drill sergeant to make things work. So it's still a huge mental game, um, as you all know, that's ha that have the lap band, or if you're considering getting it, um, it know that it is it is not an easy thing to do. Um, it is still a very tough thing. It helps. Um, by far and it's a wonderful tool and I'll never regret doing what I did um, but it, but again it is only a tool if you're not mentally strong and cannot um, listen to your band uh, you're not going to succeed so but if you do it's almost a guaranteed thing so it, again it's back up to you in a, a mental game and listening to that drill sergeant and doing what he tells you to do um, next is you know with the lap band and this is something I struggle with is you have restriction and have you have what they call a soft stop which is kind of you start belching and you kind of know you're full and then you have a hard stop and you just can't eat anymore period you're done you take another bite and you're gonna die <laughs> it feels like so you get to that soft stop but you got to know when to stop and i struggle i have i have no problem with that for lunch and for breakfast but when it comes to dinner i i'm horrible i suck i, I ain't gonna lie i i I get to that soft spot and I look at the food and I'm like, damn, I'm still kind of hungry and I want to eat more. And I really shouldn't and I, I don't have to, but I, I push myself to get almost to that hard stop and I, I got to learn to stop that. And it's not every night. I do better when I eat chicken or fish. If I eat a bigger meal, like um, I'll cook beans sometimes and eat them without rice, just some white beans or red beans with a little bit of sausage or I'll eat some meatloaf or uh, I, for Father's Day, I cooked some steaks and I, you know, I cooked a nice size steak and some a baked potato and I, I had about half of the baked potato and a little, a little bit of cheese and some sour cream and then I took a couple bites of steak and I was done. I couldn't, I, I had to refrigerate the rest of the steak and my kids ate it the next day, but I just couldn't, couldn't do it. Um, you know, I, but I tried, I was pushing myself, I just, I couldn't go anymore. Um, you got to learn to listen to when your band tells you to stop. You have to stop, and and I, you know, I need work on that, and that's something that we all have to work on, I think, to really be successful with this. Um, second is bouncing back from slipping up. Um, again, for Father's Day, we decided to bake a cake because I, I love to cook, I love to bake, and I decided to go ahead and bake a cake for Father's Day, and I have the last three days I had a little piece of cake, and you know, I, I didn't really work out until today. Uh, I gained a pound over the last four or five days. It wasn't a huge piece of cake, but I had some ice and I made some homemade ice and so I sneak a bite of ice in once in a while. And I want to get a, you don't want to get slipped back into those old habits without being able to dig yourself out of. Um, so far, I, 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 when I do that for a couple of days, it's not, I don't overindulge myself and I'm able to pull myself out of it, which is a good thing. And then before I could never do that. And I think without the band, 
I would dive right back into the old Jeff and just get back into eating whatever the hell I wanted to eat, when I wanted to eat, and enjoy myself and pig out and make myself sick. So I don't, I don't do that anymore, and I'm thankful for that. I, I wish I didn't have those cravings or those breakdowns, but I, I think if I don't, I would go nuts. I don't know about you guys, but I, sometimes I just have to eat something junk food. But I'm able to eat that little bit and then recoup from it. So bad but good. So I, I don't know how to really look at that. Um, exercising, I'm, I'm getting back into exercise again. I've worked out probably four times in the last week, week and a half. Um, I want to get back in every day. I felt so good today. I got in, got my gym room and, and we had a real good weightlifting session. Great 20 minutes on the elliptical at a high speed. Just felt really great to exercise. Uh, I've got to get myself in there every day, at least five days a week um, to, to get that going because Man, exercise really, really does you some good. It makes me feel good. It, it makes it just helps with the whole thing. So that's something I really want to get back into. Um, I kind of was lackadaisical about it over the last couple months, um, but I want to get back into it on a more regular routine basis, and I know that really helps. Uh, next is really still watching what you eat uh, as far as quality of food. Uh, you know, I, I still, no matter what, I count my calories every day. I count the carbs. I count the sugar. I watch the protein. I make sure I'm protein first. Um, uh, again, breakfast and lunch for me is not, I mean, I, I'm, I'm the same for the last five months. I don't think I changed. Uh, I'll either eat scrambled eggs in the morning when I can. Some days my band will let me eat scrambled eggs. Some days it won't. I'll eat about three or four medium scrambled eggs, size medium scrambled eggs with maybe a little bit of fat-free cheddar cheese in it. Um, and that's it. If I don't eat that, I'll eat a uh, Atkins protein bar. Um, and then for lunch, I always drink a muscle milk. If I don't drink a muscle milk, I'll make, you know, I'll take three slices of oven roasted chicken breast, uh, like Oscar Mayer, and put a piece of fat free cheese on it, a little mustard, and eat that with no bread, no nothing, just like a little meat sandwich. Um, you know, something like that, or a can of tuna fish with a little fat free mayonnaise and eat it with a fork and just eat that. So there's just different little things that I'll, I'll do a little different. For the most part, it's it's the uh, Atkins protein bars and the uh, the muscle milks. And then at dinner, you know, if I can stay focused and have chicken and fish every night, I'd be good. But it's when I break down and I eat the meatloaf or I eat, you know, tonight we had meatloaf and potatoes. And I did cut back. I didn't eat much, but I probably ate probably seven or eight ounces, which is almost twice what I should have eaten. But I, I could have eaten more, but I, I, I backed off. So, you know, um, again, it's focusing on the protein and keeping those calories down. I try to keep my calories under between 1,000 and 1,200 calories a day. I try to keep my carbs between 40 and 60. And, you know, the protein, I try to get up close to as 80 as I can, and I drink tons of water. I don't drink anything else, really, just, just a lot, a lot of water. Um, I do drink some coffee um, with a little bit of uh, non-dairy creamer and uh, some uh, Splenda. So that's kind of my sweet tooth. I drink that uh, lately to kind of, you know, if I'm having a sweet craving. Um, and then last is, you know, uh, reaching your goal. I'm only about nine pounds away from my goal um, of 200. Uh, I just don't know. I, you know, I, I'm having a problem with now I'm getting closer to the goal. I'm like, well, is 200 good enough? Maybe I want to go to 195 or 190. I, I keep questioning myself and want a lower goal. I don't know if anybody else is doing that or not. I'm still struggling with that. Um, I talk to the therapist that meets with us every month. And I think she says it's normal, you know, just look in the mirror. And we all know we should look in the mirror and feel good about the, the progress we made. And I do. I mean, I've had a lot of off-scale victories. I've had a lot of scale victories. Um, I, I feel great about where I'm at. But I just, I'm not, I don't know, I find myself not being happy with reaching 200. Even though I know with my build and with my size, 200 is probably maybe even light for me. Um, I, I'll kind of keep pushing myself saying maybe I want to go to 195 or maybe I want to go to 190. Um, I guess it's addictive because <laughs> you, you're feeling good and you want to see how maybe you feel even better or look even better. So I don't know. It's something I'm struggling with. Is anybody just like to hear if anybody else is struggling with that, if that's getting close to their goal, if they're questioning now whether they should go lower or not. Um, and how do you feel about that? Um, everybody else keeps telling me right now I need to stop because I'm, I look really good where I'm at and I shouldn't lose anymore. Um, and I, I feel great, but I would just, I'm not happy with it yet. So anyway, uh, just a few things I wanted to talk about tonight and uh, give everybody a little update and look forward to hearing back from everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.